Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're unveiling the winner of the contest for the uh, side of the truck. Yep, this is the uh, this is going to be the design that goes on the truck. Mm -hmm. We had a lot that was, of uh, that was a votes. lot of votes. Yeah, we uh, 2,138 total votes. Me and Brian spent all morning counting them individually, <laughs> and uh, it, it took a while, but yep. it was. A, it was it was a closer race than I expected it to be. Yep. Yeah, there were there were two choices that got about sixty percent of the votes, uh, and between those two, um, it was it was pretty close. Yeah. So we're gonna flip the camera around, and uh, you can see behind us. We're gonna walk over and reveal the winner. All right, let's do this. All right. All right. So walking over here. All right. So here are all the designs. They're all very very cool, very unique. Um, we liked 1A because of how simple and simplistic and clean it was. We liked 2B because of the e eagle feathers. We thought that was, you know, very patriotic, very American, fit the narrative or fit the fit the theme, not narratives. Um, 3C was very cool, very like, you know, very modern, uh, little pretty wild, little little wild, little robust for what we normally do, and so you know, it was an exciting challenge. 4D just basically fit. That's what we saw everybody. Uh, in the votes, they were saying, you know, 4D just looks like the 1970s you know, 359 Patriot. Uh, 5E, again, simplistic, clean, similar to some styles that we've already been doing, doing in the past that really fit mine and Brian's style as far as what we've been putting out here at Semi Casual. And then 6F, we really liked it because it got the colors in, it's simple, it bled down to the front fenders. That's something me and Brian have not got to do yet. So all these fit we felt like really well into what we wanted the new 389 Patriot Edition to be, but it came down to these two in the center here, 3C and 4D, as like I said in the intro, these two designs got probably 60% of the total overall vote, and that's, you know, uh, that's, that's the two it came down to the closest. And it was just barely, but your winner for the design contest is 3C. <laughs> Josh Rowan's design, very, very wild. And uh, so now me and Brian, not only do we have to figure out a way to, uh, you know, we've never done swooping stripes, right? So nope. that's, that's not something we do here. So along with the challenge <coughs> of finger, figuring out how to do the swooping stripes, uh, we also need to take, uh, take the time and the energy to make the truck look probably pretty modern. It's a very modern looking design. It's not going to go super well with <clears throat> making it a traditional looking truck. So I don't know, guys, feel free to comment and input into the comments. You know, what, what do you think we should do here? My thoughts, Brian, uh, is we got to go painted cat panels, right? I mean, we can't, we can't really do chrome at this point because there's going to be so much color on the side of the body that I think, I think you almost have to go painted panels, right? It probably, yeah, with the way the stripes go through and stuff, it'll give us more room on the paint side, too. Yeah. Um, and see the, if we, the other option is you could always do a painted cow panel and yeah. do the, the small chrome strip there and still, because, I mean, I think you paint the tanks. That's my opinion. Um, so then, then what do we do? I mean, do we, do, do we carry some, some of the striping into the tank? I mean, not, not, like, not like the swoops, obviously, but yeah. do we try to incorporate some of the blue into the red into the tank? I think you just leave it solid so, color. So you do a white tank. Yeah. You do white panels. Um, the swoop is kind of coming down here. So let's, let's, let's get real into this here. So in the extender behind the hood, the cab extension panel. It comes through there a little it bit. It comes through there a little bit. So, you know, we put the painted one on there and it mm -hmm. comes up through it before it goes down to that front fender. So we're going to have a little bit of two-tone on one of the cab panels. Yep. So the other things too is, so when Josh drew this out, you'll notice he put the wheel tucked up in the fender and stuff to make it look cool. Yeah. It kind of seems like we need to change the front end up or body drop this thing. We got to do something. We got to make the truck lower. We're going to have to come up with a set of 24 fives. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to come by these days, but yeah. it really would be nice to get a set of 24 fives on this truck. I mean, if but, we're going that modern low rider look, um, I don't know about a body drop, but maybe an air ride front end for sure. Yeah. Yeah, do that, uh, do the air, airbag conversion. I mean, now, like, we're literally diving into almost accidentally building a full-on show truck here. I mean, it's, uh, there's going to be a lot getting done to this thing. So, 
some stuff we have uh, for the truck right now that we know we want to do. And we want to kind of incorporate a lot of questions with you guys that are watching this, whether it's going to be, there's going to be questions I think that we'll, uh, or opinions we want to get that we're going to put out on the social media, like on Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Um, as far as like parts and what to do there. Yeah. So um, a couple of things that we know we're doing for sure though, it's going to get shift fenders. Yep. One thing is, is do we paint the shift fenders or do we just a plain white or do we try to incorporate the design into the fenders? Um, we're going to do a deck plate. It's going to be painted red to match the chassis. Yeah. Um, you know, should somewhere on this truck when we do the paint on the back, I mean, should we kind of do like a USA theme? Should it be, should it, you know, could we give it a truck number that's somewhat patriotic? There's all kinds of little design aspects we can add in on this. Yeah. Uh, truck number 1776 right yeah 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 or uh what if we uh what if we did um what if we did a shock box cover and had our guy come over and do some pinstriping mm -hmm. and put something you know maybe real patriotic on there or maybe put 389 patriot or something on the back of it yep yeah so somewhere we can incorporate things like that um you know and when we do this you know should we do should we do T-bars with the fenders or no T-bars? Um, maybe just a plain center panel on the back. And then like on the center panel, is it a painted one? Do we paint it red or do we make it chrome? There's so many options. You know what, um, I, that's, that's what I like about it. We're at a blank canvas so far. The one thing we do know is what the paint is gonna look like. And that is right there. And we've got an interior, so we're going to do some interior work to it. So there's going to be, as we start working on this truck, there'll be some conversations about doing some stuff in the interior. I think we need to try to like tie in some of the red, white, and blue to the interior somehow. Maybe it's something as simple as just the stitching. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and then we've got visor choices. we got uh, exhaust choices, you know, uh, seven inch, eight inch. Uh, what kind of top stacks we want to put on it? What kind of bumper? Uh, what do we want to do with the grill? I mean, we can make a custom grill for it, you know, have the guys cut us out like a grill and put like 1776 in it or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of little, there's a ton of little things we can do to this truck to kind of make it unique. And uh, now that we know, now we know what a design we're going with, it's really just kind of picking out some of the stuff. But we're not going to start on it tomorrow. No, no. We have a lot of trucks in the shop. There's a lot of trucks currently in progress. This truck will get done. We're doing it. That's that's happening. Me and Brian actually had an argument. Uh, whenever whenever 3C won, he was like, man, we got to find a way to simplify it. And I said, Brian, that's not how it works because everybody voted. That's the design you guys well, wanted. Not not necessarily simplify it, but uh, which we're going to get with Josh too. Um, I want to do something here a little different. But I think we'll we'll work on that. I, do, I I I like this, but I think the this is too it, big to me. Well, everything is pointed this way, and then you yeah. get, uh, the only thing I saw that I didn't like is how the this one wave comes back this direction, right? Yeah. Like everything is moving that way, except for that one point kind of moving this direction. So I, I don't disagree. Something needs to happen there. Yeah. But all this, the mm -hmm. essence needs to stay. It yeah. has to stay. So. Anyway, we're gonna work with Josh a little bit, but maybe see about doing some something there and then figuring out a way that we can also maybe incorporate this to the back of the truck. Yep. Um, and then what else we got here? I don't know. We got a here. blank slate that everybody needs to comment and tell us how to how to build this thing. But yeah. um, you know, we got a lot of projects in between now and Mid-America, so this one's going to be a work in progress. Um, I'd love to say that we could bring it with us to the show in Mid-America, but it ain't happening. No. Gosh, we just have so many projects going. Um, but we'll be working on this as we're going here and there. Yep. So it'll be it'll be like, we'll have some options. We'll get people to start chiming in on the options we can go with, pick that option, put it on. There'll be a lot of little videos just on different stuff we're doing with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, it's gonna be some good filler content over the next couple of months. I uh, hope you guys are all following along and checking in on it because this is, this is gonna be a cool build. And when it's done, it should be a pretty desirable truck. And, um, I don't know, maybe we can find some sort of, um, you know, some sort of good, like, event to unveil it at or yep. something like that. I don't know, maybe there's a truck show coming up that's, like, specifically, you know, I know um, 
uh, the Nacogdoches show, they always they always try to do some stuff with veterans and stuff there too. So, yeah, so and maybe I mean, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, so maybe maybe we can coincide, unveil it at a show that uh, they're doing some special stuff for some some American veterans. So be a good be, idea. That'd be cool. Yep. <laughs> so that's where we're at. You guys start. Uh, let your imaginations run wild. Tell us in the comments what you think. What would you do with it? Um, you know, it, the sky's the limit. We may go completely crazy with it. We may not. I mean. We may just, I mean, we could go as far as like hiding the death tank and all that, or maybe we leave the death tank. I don't know. There's a lot of different things you can do. So uh, now that we got a paint design figured out, we just start working on the other pieces. Yeah. Just got to figure out the rest of the truck now. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Pretty short. We got our winner. Congratulations, Josh Rowan. Uh, we're going to get started on this truck somewhat soon. Somewhat soon, not today and not tomorrow, but we're gonna get we're gonna get going on this truck, get it uh, all built and ready to go, and find somewhere to unveil it and make it look uh, nice and cool and pretty, and yep. then that'll uh, be for sale. For sale. But uh, you guys, let us know what you think about it in the comments, and uh, yeah. again, congratulations, Josh. Yep. And then uh, outside of that, you guys know what you got to do. You got to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. And then, uh, you know, keep checking in on the content. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Um, you know, I say this occasionally, but uh, about 80% of our viewership is not subscribed to our channel, mm -hmm. which is kind of mind blowing, but it's, it's cool. We still appreciate every single view. Uh, but if you guys could hit the little subscribe uh, button down in one of these corners, that, uh, that actually does help us out quite a bit yep. and then motivates us to create more cool content. So like and subscribe, and then uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.